One physician practicing medicine at a Cabrini Green Health Clinic in the 90s is around a shelter in place for the pandemic this summer. She's experienced them both. As a doctor, she says the similarities between them are undeniable. Dr. Linda Ray Murray says it all comes down to race and the inequities that stem from it. The heat wave that caught Chicago by surprise. The virus that turned the planet upside down and forced people worldwide indoors decades later. During those 25 years in between, Dr. Linda Ray Murray says not enough changed in Chicago. And that's why during a major health crisis, neighborhoods where poverty thrives, deaths rise. It's not a surprise to us that more people are dying during this pandemic. Dr. Murray is specifically referring to minorities, the group hit hardest here in the U.S. during a pandemic that we haven't seen the likes of in 100 years. And it's a result of the structural conditions, the racism that's baked into our country. At 71 and now retired, the great frustration for the former chief medical officer for the Cook County Department of Public Health is that the city, county and state continue to ignore the needs of our poorest neighborhoods. The virus, she says, highlighting the deep problems that exist when it comes to health care, housing, jobs and education for minority communities. This strips away the veneer that exists in our society and it exposes deep structural inequities and inequalities uh, that cause this differential in morbidity and mortality. According to the CDC, minorities are four to five times more likely to be hospitalized for COVID-19. The agency attributes the disparity to long-standing systemic health and social inequities, putting them at increased risk of getting the virus or experiencing severe illness regardless of age. Death rates tend to be higher too during public health emergencies, whether that's a hurricane, a heat wave, or even a global pandemic. The virus doesn't care whether you're black or Latino or Native American, it doesn't care. But we create conditions that make it impossible for groups that are oppressed to, to fight off the virus effectively. That was clear to her back in 1995 as well, when a stark image grabbed headlines. She knew exactly what was going on. Well. I really was very concerned uh, when uh, news began to report the refrigerated trucks. That's a clear indication that the medical examiner's office was being overwhelmed. And Dr. Murray says authorities at the highest levels knew a pandemic was coming at some point. Still, resources on Chicago's south and west sides were lacking, just like in 1995. Systemic racism at the root of it all, she believes. The underserved once again ignored, slow to get PPE, enough testing and proper treatments. This has been going on for centuries in the United States. And if we as a nation don't come to grips with our racism, if we don't come to grips with the structural inequalities that exist in our nation, this nation will fall apart reallocating funds and reordering Chicago's priorities. Two of Dr. Murray's suggestions to help break the cycle plaguing Chicago. It's a combination of what we do as human beings and how we organize our resources in society that really are the most important part of whether pe people live or die. Dr. Murray lays it out so well, saying structural racism operates without a bad guy, without someone acting deliberately and consciously. It's in the background of America's normal process, and any kind of pressure, like a heat wave or a pandemic, exposes the issue once again.